this uh, these are the computations for the lab on simple machines for the pulley and during the video I measured that the monster trucks has had a mass of 370 grams or 0.37 kilograms and of this I measure measured on a spring scale that's um, 3.6 newtons which also makes sense because 3.37 kilograms times 9.8 is 3.6 newtons amount of work by simply lifting up the weight a token distance of one meter well that amount of work then is the force with which I need to lift them up 3.6 newtons times the one meter um, of the token distance that comes up comes out to of course 3.6 Joules. I will explain the word token distance in a moment again. Okay, number of strings holding up the weight. As I said, that depends on where you make the original tie. And um, I had four strings, so I cross out the odd numbers here, so I would end up with four strings, two, and six strings. Okay, work done without the pulleys. That's what I just calculated. 3.6 joules then when I actually pulled on the string I came up I measured 1.5 newtons on average and for how how much string do I have to pull in order to lift the weight one meter well there are four strings holding up the pulley and each one of these need to be pulled up one meter so I need to pull a total of four meters of string this is where the word token distance comes in. I actually don't need to do that because I just know if I want to lift at one meter with four strings I have to pull four meters of string. So again that's why I actually don't need to do it. That's um, why um, I can just say hey I need four meters of string if I actually did it. Okay so that comes out to amount of work with the pulleys of six point zero joules 1.5 times 4 and now I determine the efficiency which is 3.6 divided by 6 that comes out to 0.6 or in percentage 60 percent so I have an I have an efficiency of 60 percent in the conclusion I now would have to explain why is it not a hundred percent ideally it would be a hundred percent I still, of course, don't get a free lunch for the um, as I reduce my force from 3.6 newtons to 1.5 newtons, which is the mechanical advantage. I have to pull this for a longer distance, four meters instead of one meter. So I definitely don't get a free lunch, but I don't get 100% either efficiency. Uh, so I would have to explain well. Why is it less than 100%? So think about the way that the experiment is set up and you should come up with a couple of things that influence that result why right here on the force where ideally we should have measured a quarter of 3.6 newtons we measure, which is 0.9 newtons we actually, or I measured actually more 1.5 newtons, appreciably more and in your conclusion think about what could um, have caused that Okay, I made an example here for the pulley. Of course, there are a couple more for the incline and the lever, but I figure showing you one setup should should be enough. And now, of course, it's up to you and your creativity to figure out how to set up the incline and the lever. And on the original lab sheet guidelines, I gave you some drawings to to look at that you can use.